when it's windy as hell. I'm out in the countryside. Now I'm out of the wind a little bit. The Tricky Briggy's here today and I'm going to be doing some stone work, flint work. Yabba dabba do, flintstone. And the job I'm undertaking is behind me here. It's quite a big job. A lot of flintstone. It goes between here, what we see here, goes right the way up. I think I'll put a soldier course right the way across, just underneath. You can see where the lead line is going in. The lead line's been cut out, so I'm going to be a few courses below that, right the way through there, and then back down the other side. So there's this big panel of flintstone to do, and we've also got around the other side. There's about well, it's, there's loads of panels, loads to do. So this is the first one. Um, I'm going to get some muck sorted out. I've set up a little windbreak there just to give me a bit of protection from like up to my waist there at the moment it would have been handy if it was higher but we'll see if we can fabricate something it's really windy today I can tell you gonna get all this ground nicely leveled off first of all so I ain't tripping over anything I don't want to fall over and bust my ankle or anything what we've got here this is a new extension here so behind this is a hundred and fifty mil cavity and then there's the internal block work and this part so this effectively, the outside skin is now going to be 200 mil, well, plus the joints are two, basically nine inch wide. It's going to be a nine inch outer skin everywhere where there's the uh, the flintstone. So that's going to make it nice and strong. Nine inch on the outside, 150 mil cavity, 100 mil internal. That's a nice, nice fit cavity. Here's our little flint station. <laughs> Got them up on some hop ups there just to get it off the ground a bit, makes it a bit nicer, a bit easier. Less bending down and all that. <laughs> and now we have the mix as well. So this is as good a part place as any to start at the bottom. Let's get some bed on here first of all. I want to keep them really close. I don't want big gaps in between them. So I'm trying to make them nice and close as I can. Without going there, should we go that way? I think that way's better. What my idea is, Bunny knows. What my idea is, is as I come along here, I want to get a whole course along. I want to get quite a lot done right away along this wall, first course. Then once they're all on, I can go back to the beginning and start laying again on it. This gives it a bit of time to go off. And then you can start stacking them little by little as you go. But the main aim is I want to keep them nice and close together. I don't want big gaps in between them because one, when I come to pointing, you're going to use loads and loads of mortar. Two, the wall is supposed to be flint. If you're doing brickwork, you don't have massive joints, so I don't want massive joints on this either. I think it looks, in my view, I think it looks aesthetically better pleasing on the eye. <laughs> so, 
let's crack on with this and get this get this first course on and see how we get on from there. So there we go, that's course number one down. Now it's just pretty much a case of going back to the beginning again, buying this corner, and stacking them, bonding them, making it look neat and tidy. Happy days. Right, because we're gonna be repointing these with a light, a lighter color, I'm gonna take this all the muck out and rake it back so we can get plenty of the, the lighter coloured muck in afterwards to point it up with. So we're going to get a chunk of it out, look it's gone sort of off a little bit. Just get this back enough so we can get a good point in there you know. There we go, nicely rakes out all the way through there now. Good. <coughs> so now I'm just going to continue stacking up some more. Stacking up, stacking up. Um, I don't think I'll be going too high with it this side. I don't want to go too mega high. If I could get halfway up at a time, it'll be nice. But if it starts to pull out, I'm not going to risk it. I'll probably just get over this next wall tie. We'll just have to see gradually, gradually. Plenty of wall ties in there. There's ties every course. So it's only like laying three bricks and then we're tied again. So as long as we can keep it balanced that long, we're happy days. Right, we've got to this height now today. It's getting later on now. So I've raked out as best as I can, ready for pointing up with my little trowel here. Just been getting into the little gaps and finding any bits like this and just raking them out. And once they're all done like that, I'm gonna go through it then with a bit of WD-40 and a bit of rock wool. So although this stuff is itchy, it's slightly abrasive. So I'll soak this with a bit of WD-40 and then any little bits here, like little stains where I've scuffed, it's really difficult to get these on without causing a mark, you know? So I'm just gonna go over all of these and just give them a little clean up as best as I can now. Obviously, I'm gonna be repointing this later on, they're gonna get some more on them, but I don't want to build up of it, you know? So if I get it all off now, it'll look better in the end. So there we go, with all the faces of the stones nice and clean. That's looking really nice. So there we go, that's the first section. There done, we're all set up here now, ready to go for section number two. This time it's a little bit narrower, so it shouldn't take quite so long. This is Charlie, Charlie boy. Charlie boy, Charlie boy, Charlie boy. Kibbity, 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 kibbity. This is Charlie. Charlie the dog, Gavin's dog. He's got a lovely little jumper on, isn't you, boy? Go on, son. He's the guard dog. <laughs> Charlie Boy, the guard dog. Alright, so we're all set up then. Let's get on with round two.
there we go that's as high as I'm going with it this start at the moment yeah I don't want to stack too many on top at once I don't want to start bellying it out and stuff so let that go off and uh, yeah so now I'm around the other side around the other side So here we have the second panel. This part made up of three this time. One, two, three sections. We'll go up and above. Same as round the back. So yeah, all the trays are installed and everything. So here the course going across the top of these windows. And a soldier course coming up from here and going across. So exactly the same as round the back, but three panels this time. So I've set myself up again. There's my muck. We've got a few flints there. We're going to start on this one. Nice little section there. We're getting a nice, nice way through it now. I'm getting the knack of it. So I haven't done this for a long time, but I'm getting the knack of it again. So I look really sweet. So we've got two more panels to do. Then we would have done one lap of one lift. All the way around. I'm not going to stack any more of there again. Too heavy. I don't want it to fall off. There's loads of ties in there, but again, I can do so much at a time. I don't want it falling down. We've got a cup of tea. We've also got a load more stones set up ready for this panel. Oh yeah. It's especially blurry today. Really blurry over here today. I've got the wind break up. It's giving me a bit of protection but out here. <laughs> it's blowing mental. <laughs> Look what Chucky's found in the kitchen. Got some fucking donuts as well. <laughs> This one's looking nice now, and I did have the last panel up to the same height as this one, but I got greedy. It all fell down. Oh, big pile of crap. Last thing, last thing in the day, and the whole thing goes down. Typical, isn't it? Oh well, what else can you do? You can clean it all up, get it all freshened up there, get it all back to normal how it was before. Have to crack on, start again. One of them things. So on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to end the episode. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll be back in the next episode to complete the job. But until then, see you soon. Peace out and...